Welcome. Today we will review the assembly and installation of the Rolla RBU Universal Crossbars. Okay, the first step will be lay out all the roller roof bar parts and familiarize yourself with the parts and cross-check them against the enclosed installation instructions. Once you've completed that step, take the key from the key kit, insert it into the lock on the end support, unlock the handle lock, and turn the handle to adjust the locking jaw to the fully open position, leaving about a quarter inch of thread showing at the end. We are now ready to assemble the end support into the crossbar by simply sliding the end support into the slot opening. Now with the end supports installed onto the crossbar and centered into the slot opening, we are ready to install the crossbars onto the vehicle. Place the crossbars and the end supports onto the side rails and center the bar on the vehicle. Once complete, then you will tighten using the handle tool on the end support. At the same time you are tightening the end support jaw to the side rail, you are also tightening the end support to the crossbar. It's dual action. Now we are ready to measure and install our undercover strip. This is optional but recommended to cut down on potential wind noise. With the crossbar centered on the vehicle, we will scribe a mark with a pencil beneath the rail. Next, we will remove the crossbar from the vehicle, turn it upside down, measure from the scribe mark to the slot end. After that, we will cut our undercover stock to the length we just measured. Slide the undercover strip into the slot, reinstall the end support to the crossbar, and now we are ready to measure cut and install the undercover stock to the front portion of the crossbar. Complete the undercover installation for the remaining three end support brackets, reattach the crossbars to the vehicle, fully tighten and lock the end supports. The Rolla RBU crossbars are equipped with an integrated universal accessory T-slot channel that can accept a wide variety of T-slot accessories. To install a T-slot accessory, you would simply peel back the buffer strip, fit the T-slot accessory into place, trim the buffer strip around the accessory, fit the buffer strip back into place, put the end cap into the cross rail, and lock your accessory into place. The Rolla RBU cross rails allow you to attach today's most popular rooftop cargo management products. Well, that pretty much wraps up our presentation today. Thanks for watching.